Hey everyone, this is Rima's Culinary Adventures and we are making cauliflower or gobi manchurian. Please support me by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell below. Please show me your support by liking and sharing with your friends and keep coming back for more. First, we prepare the batter by adding all-purpose flour to corn flour, about 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour to 4 tablespoons of corn flour. Then we add in our salt and stir well to combine. Now we pour in cold water a little at a time and give it all a good mix. We're looking for a batter that is as thick as say double cream and we want it to be of pourable consistency so that it's fluid enough to get into the nooks and crannies of our cauliflower florets. We want the cauliflower cut into bite-sized pieces add them into the batter and give it a good mix ensuring that they are well coated in the batter now we are going to gradually start adding more all-purpose flour to get the batter thick and quite sticky this is what will ensure that the florets turn out really crispy once they are deep fried a great test to check if your batter is thick enough is to take two pieces of cauliflower and then making them touch and when you pull them apart they make a string of batter with our florets prepped and ready place a flat base pan over high heat and add in oil about an inch high. To test that the oil is hot enough, drop in a bit of batter and if bubbles form immediately around it, then you're ready to go. Carefully add in your prepped cauliflower florets into the oil and fry them without overcrowding. At this stage, we are only looking to cook them through, therefore we are not going to try and get them crispy and deep golden. In this recipe, I am double frying the cauliflower florets and therefore at this stage, our main focus is to get the cauliflower cooked through and the batter completely dry. Also, you must notice that the florets are not completely submerged in oil. This actually is preferred because the steam from the cauliflower escapes and therefore leaves little room for any sogginess later. Once all of your cauliflower is cooked through, add the florets back into very hot oil and then deep fry them until they are crisp and deep golden in color. Ensure that you keep a good eye on them. You don't want them to get burnt but at the same time you want them to get those lovely brown spots which will add flavor and leave it crunchy for very very long. This stage should take you about four to six minutes depending on how hot your oil is. Once they are done, take them off the oil with a slotted spoon and place them over some paper towels to drain off any excess oil or steam. Now, place another pan over high heat and add about two to three tablespoons of oil. Swirl it around and make sure that your pan is well coated and once the oil is hot, Add in minced ginger and saute until aromatic. Now add in the diced onions, minced garlic and the salt and saute for about 30 seconds to a minute until everything is fragrant. Now add in your capsicum and cook until it's crisp and yet cooked through. This should take you about a couple of minutes. Now we add in a couple of tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, chili powder and give everything a good mix. Prepare your slurry by adding in about a teaspoon of corn flour into 2 tablespoons of water and add it into your sauce. Stir immediately and then add in the minced coriander and green onions and stir well to combine. At this stage, you can also add some monosodium glutamate for that restaurant-like flavor. Now taste a little and add in a pinch of sugar, pepper, chili, anything that you may need to adjust to taste. And add in your deep fried cauliflower florets and stir well to coat in the wonderful sauce. Once done, serve immediately just on its own as an appetizer or with rice and noodles and enjoy please like subscribe and comment if you like this recipe thanks for watching and have a happy day